welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i have for you a zara they've got this sale on if you've currently noticed so i had a quick browse on their website picked out some favorite finds and i thought i would share them with you today so i'm actually in my kitchen for once filming a haul video which is new let me know what you think of the setup i do have the doors open so if you can hear the trees blowing in the wind or the birds singing then i'm just gonna take that as a bit of background noise because honestly it's quite nice having the doors open in here so yeah anyway doors are open let me know what you think of the setup i've just realized the dishwasher's on as well hopefully you can't hear that and if you can i do apologize but anyway i wanted to share with you some zara finds today but before i do i just wanted to Firstly, a very kindly thank today's video sponsor, Air It Up. You may have heard me talk about Air Up before, and if you haven't, I will introduce you to the brand today. It is a product that I love, and they brought out some newbies, and I've very luckily been one of the first to get to try these out. So anyway, first and foremost, their new steel bottle. How beautiful is this? This is a larger one as well, which I wanted for Getting in my water intake throughout the day, this water bottle just holds so much that I can, I have probably three of these a day, helping keep me hydrated, especially in this heat. I feel like we all need to make sure to keep hydrated and having air up has really helped with that. So another new product, these are their pods, and this is one that I have been using, the Cassis, it's like a black currant flavor. And this is a new one that they have introduced virgin mojito which i feel like is just perfect for summer days barbecues if you want a bit of a taste of a, a virgin mojito then this is great for that so if you haven't heard of air up or haven't come across it before it's a really cool concept the technology is just so clever that essentially by having these centered pods which look like so. Together with one of their bottles, they've got a variety of different ones. They don't just have steel, they have different ones as well. Essentially, this is the lid, so you can just fill up the water bottle. The lid, the top, looks like so, and you essentially pop the pod onto the top. I'll show you now, because I need a fresh one on anyway. So this is the Virgin Mojito one. It smells minty zesty oh it's just my perfect kind of drink if you know me you know how much i love the kind of zestiness and the the herbiness one of my favorite ones that they do is the basil one basil and lemon so you get your pod pop it on like so and then you simply lift it to activate it the science behind it is like the scent whilst you're drinking the tap water makes you feel like you're drinking flavored water when it is just Good old tap water going into your system, no additives, no sugar, no nothing. It's just tap water, but it feels like you're drinking a virgin mojito. So I'm actually gonna go fill it up now. All fill up with water, lift it to activate. Delicious. So it's not just a regular water bottle. Steel one in particular keeps it cold for up to 14 hours. It's just like a completely new, unique, hydration experience i feel like especially if you're not a fan of just plain tap water you will benefit from this massively they've got over 25 different flavored pods this one is a new favorite of mine like i said i like the basil lemon one cucumber strawberry balsamic honestly loads of flavors to try and each pod just on average lasts for about five liters of water before you replace it with a new one so thank you once again to ever for very kindly sponsoring today's video and i will be sure to leave a link in the description box for you below to try it out yourself anyway let's jump into the zara haul i wanted to firstly show you this little cord find i don't well they're not actually they styled them together and i also bought both of them but they're not exactly like the perfect match. One of them is a slogan tea, like cropped tea, which says Miami Beach established 1994. I got it in a large, was 15.99 down to 9.99. And then these shorts look so comfy. I got these in a medium as well. Again, was 59, 59.99 down to 9.99. So. Yeah, the reason why they're not the perfect match necessarily is because this one has Palo Alto. Why have I never heard of that? California. CA1983, I guess. Anyway, and also the thread of it is 
like a dark green on that one and a navy on that one but as a cute little cold i was thinking just for like cluttering around the house getting housework bits done and yeah just running errands just a nice white light summer little cord to wear i will also just show you this dress that i'm wearing as well which i love is from h&m i showed it in a vlog recently i did a bit of a h&m haul at the end of a recent vlog and it's got like this backless detail it's just nice and airy it feels lightweight and good for the summer sun as well but yeah i'll leave a link to this um in the description box below if you wanted to check it out along with any other links to these items from Zara below, because I know Zara's website can be very hard to manage. Yeah, taking the hard work out for you by popping the links in the description box below so you don't have to search through the website. Okay, next up I got this kind of like asymmetric draped dress. I love the kind of one shoulder detail to this one. I got it in a medium, 45 99 except I paid 29 99 for this one in the sale. It's a beautiful fabric. I feel like this could be quite a dressy outfit, like on holiday maybe, or in an evening, even in the UK, you know, not necessarily just a summer piece, this one, but as like a, an event dress even. Feels really, really nice, it's got like a hidden zip on the side, so nice and easy to get into. Medium for myself, and yeah, I really like this one. Again, the fabric feels lovely for that. So the summer for me, especially in the UK without aircon, pretty much all I can manage is just loose, loose? loose floaty dresses and this cocoon dress just is very simply that just plain and simple white it's got like a kind of elasticated back so nice and stretchy and comfortable simple spaghetti straps a v-neck front and it's got like a layer like a i don't know what it is just like a seam running across the middle and this one was only 15.99 again it feels lovely it feels like a really nice like thick well, I say thick cotton. Thick as in it's not see-through. And even just as like a beach dress, that one, if you were to go on holiday and just wanted it, just a nice simple cover-up for the beach. That one feels really lovely. So I got that one in a small. Now, this one wasn't actually a sale find. It was in one of, in like the kind of new in section. I just thought it looked lovely. So it's a plain and simple black dress, but it's got shoulder pads and it was 49.99 which is kind of on the steep side but for a beautiful full outfit gorgeous dress evening especially i just think it's lovely it's got like a slip detail on the side a bit of gathering as well around your kind of like hips area and yeah i got it in a small which i think um it's like difficult with sizing for zara isn't it because i feel like i'm in between a small and a medium some things even a medium is too tight and then some things a small is massive on me so it's a hard one to judge. Typically, I'm a UK size 10. I'm about five foot five for reference. But yeah, I really like the simplicity of this one. Again, I think it could be dressed up, dressed down. Speaking of poor sizing, I got this. And on paper, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. It's like this linen bomber. It is a bit more premium price point. It was 109 pounds and it was down to 69.99 so i thought i would get this as like what could potentially be like a really key capsule piece within my wardrobe however i got it in a medium they only do small medium and large and the medium for me is just it drowns me it's way too big i think it's meant to be oversized anyway at least how they've styled it up on the website but i think this is too oversized for me so i will have to return this one which is a shame it is really beautiful it's made really well the details on it is lovely it's just too big so then i spotted this in the sale this beautiful olive khaki colored well olive colored actually little cropped waistcoat i really want to get the matching shorts that come with it i'm praying they come back in stock in my size but this one for now is in a small it was 25.99 in the sale for 15 99 was it i think you could wear even with some wide leg uh cream pants like suit pants type thing so that if you want to like more of a smarter look or even just like casual more casual for just like with denim shorts i did actually pick up some white denim shorts so i'll show you those next but yeah tortoiseshell buttons and i'm really enjoying this kind of tailored day wear trend so this is the pair of white denim shorts that i picked myself up they're kind of like a bermuda style so they're slightly longer on the leg which i personally 
prefer. I did size up to a UK 12 for a kind of more loose, baggier fit, but they are already loose fit Bermuda. So just bear that in mind. Um, yeah, so I got a 12. Was 29.99, now, let me check. 19.99, so I've got 10 pounds off on those. And they're really kind of distressed. All the edging has quite a lot of distressing to it. And then obviously it's like a raw hem as well. Next up I got these two, which they did kind of style together on the website, but they are complete kind of separates. This one is a pair of mal, like grey mal jogging trousers, 22 99 full price these ones are still. I got them in a medium and they do have like a cinch in drawstring waist to be able to tie them in, but they feel like a really lightweight, kind of relaxed, almost pyjama feel to them. They are so comfy. And then to go with it again, for just like around the house, I got this little ribbed crop top that goes with it. It's very much like a bralette style. so slouching Sundays when it's still a bit warm but you want to be comfy and not be like cozy up on the sofa in a dress so yeah these ones again full price but very affordable at just 5 99 and I got that one in a medium too it feels lovely as well so as a set lovely separates fine but that's how I'm intending on wearing these is together for cozy days and we all know I love a cozy day. I have quite a few of them. I did get quite a few basics on this occasion. I just feel like Zara for their basics, you just can't go wrong. Mix and match, capsule pieces, staple classic items, such as a basic tea. So we've got a gray one, which um, is in a small, this one was in the sale from $12.99 down to $8.99. $12.99 is like their kind of go-to price point for uh, like a staple top or body and yeah it is worth that money in my opinion but the fact that it's in the sale now both of them are as well actually this one was at 12.99 down to 8.99 i don't know if they're the exact same are they this one fit the gray one feels slightly softer um but either way both of them are like an oversized fit so i've got them both in a small honestly guys the amount of times i just wear basic tees and get through them like wash them a lot and everything it's always nice to just have a fresh crisp new tea so yeah i do probably get like every season i so like every quarter i probably do stock up on a few especially white basic white teas just to refresh because i do feel like over time they do kind of I don't know, my older ones do tend to look a bit older and shabbier. So anyway, I've got a couple of new basics. Okay, next up, this is a little special number. It is a bit glitzy, a bit glam, and I feel like it would be the perfect addition to your suitcase if you have any kind of a girl's trip planned, girl's holiday planned. So it's a swimsuit which obviously swimsuits I always think can double up as a good body with some like shorts or trousers even and uh, yeah so this one has it's just plain and simple black and it has like a gorgeous rhinestone detail along the edge it's like a one shoulder that's just like a you know one of those whatever they call them I don't know, but I always snip them off when I get them because otherwise they end up poking out all over the show. But um, yeah, this rhinestone thing is like a one shoulder detail. And I think it's beautiful. It is padded as well, so you've got a bit of extra support. So I'm just thinking, yeah, if you've got any kind of a girl's trip planned with like a beach day, beach bar day, where you want to wear something a little bit nicer to, yeah, or hen I feel like a hen -do be really nice for that. I do have a handy coming up but it's not until next year. Hello Barney. Got Mr Barney here next to me. Can you see him in the mirror there? <laughs> um, I do have a handy but yeah it's not until next year so we don't know themes or what we're wearing or anything like that yet. But yeah if this fits the brief for one of the outfits then I would definitely take this. I think it is gorgeous. It is a bit more expensive. It is 45, oh, 35.99, sorry, and I got it in a medium. I got this sale find, and it's a satin, kind of like vest, racer back style vest top, which I thought would be lovely for dressing up, for evening outfits. It was 22.99 in the sale for 12.99 in a small. By the way, I'm telling you all the sale prices that I paid for these, but we all know that Zara do their tiers. 
So who knows, by the time that you're watching this video, these prices might be even cheaper. But yeah, in a small, it is racer back though. I'm just, so I'm thinking it would have to be, I would probably just go braless with it, otherwise a strapless bra. Another kind of go-to outfit for me in the summer months, the warmer months, and also spring as well actually, is a kind of pair of like linen style trousers with like a basic vest top. So I thought I would get these two to share with you. They are both sale finds again, so the ribbed, vest top is in a small it's 9.99 um oh sorry that's not in the sale and then these trousers they were in the sale from 29.99 down to 22.99 so a bit of a discount there but they are nice and high waisted drawstring waist as well and they have like a seam along the front down the middle and at the back they kind of taper in at the ankles and slightly wider along the legs so i would say kind of a balloon style trouser and i've got these ones in a small but i also picked them up in this dark green color in a medium just to try for comparison for the size but you'll see how they fit on the try on clips on me but because of that drawstring waist you can cinch them in um, so yeah, I, I'd say if you like in between sizing, it's not really the end of the world, which size you get. The last and final item, again, another pair of trousers, this time in a really kind of light washed khaki effect with a little wooden button. So a very casual look, these ones. They don't have the drawstring waist though. They are cinched in, well not cinched in, but like, you know, a normal standard like belt looped waist got these ones in a medium they were 35.99 and again just a plain and simple trouser i feel like i needed more of this kind of a style of relaxed fit trouser so not a dress not a jean not a jogger but like something in between so that's why i picked up a few of these i'm gonna have to have a good try on myself and decide which ones of all of these that i'm gonna keep because i probably don't need them all let's be honest but um, yeah, that is the last and final item that I got. Again, just a reminder, I will leave all the links to these items down in the description box below, along with this dress that I'm wearing. This one is $19.99. Size did I get it in? Small. Got this one in a small, so yeah. Links will be left in the description box. Thank you so, so much for watching this haul. Thank you, of course, to Air Up for very kindly sponsoring it and working with me on today's video. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Check them out by the link in my description box and I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.